This is CBS 8 News live at 5. We've been trying to think of things that are indoor for her to play with. A long heat wave is bringing dangerously hot temperatures to parts of San Diego County, triggering an excessive heat warning in our inland areas. Good evening, happy Friday, and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. That warning applies to San Diego's valleys and mountains through tomorrow night with triple-digit temperatures a possibility. CBS 8's Abby Black is in Santee to highlight a few ways that families can stay cool. And Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis is monitoring weather conditions across our county. We begin tonight with Carlene with the latest on the heat so you can stay safe. Carlene? Yeah, we are talking about a whole lot of heat, and we are also talking about it being a weather impact alert day because of that heat. When we take a look at the latest when it comes to the details with that inland heat, we've been experiencing it across the desert. That's where we have the prolonged heat wave, but it's only going to be through tomorrow for the inland valleys as well as for the mountains. Key time frame, about 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's when you should limit your outdoor activity as well as just keeping in mind any strenuous outdoor activities like going hiking, not really a good time to do that around that key time frame because that's also when we start to get the most intense sun rays and we have the UV index at an extreme. So it's hot highs and we're telling you stay nice and hydrated as well as being indoors where there's a room that has AC and limiting those outdoor activities. Highs for today did hit triple digits. We had 103 for Julian, 109 for Campo. We also had some record heat as well as some all-time record heat that was broken in Southern California. So we'll get to those details coming up. Marcella. Thanks, Carlene. We'll see you then. The heat is intense, especially out in East County, but many families are able to get out and find something fun and safe to do in the hot weather. CBS 8's Abby Black shows us how you can cool off in Santee and in nearby communities. What's cooler than being cool is splashing around in Santee to find the cool spots outside, or you can cool off on a cool ride at Fun Bowl. Families are dodging the heat outside and going to the playground inside. Cool. Avery was not the only one with the idea to slide into fun, believable indoor playground in the inside to stay cool. Come get your wiggles out. With an excessive heat warning, fun, believable co-owner Lynn McTurp says it's a popular place. That's when we get a lot of phone calls. Are you guys open? And we're like, absolutely, come on in. The indoor playground is air conditioned and for all ages and parents and grandparents. She's from Arizona, so... Coming here is cooler for her, but it's way too hot to go in the, on the playground or outside. Kathy Monteith has thought of it all to keep her granddaughter Kinsley out of the heat. We've gone swimming. We've gone to the spray, spray ground out at Santee Lakes, and then I took her to Chuck E. Cheese the other day. Speaking of Santee Lakes, families are traveling all over the county to splash around the spray ground. Refreshing. It feels like I'm getting rained on. Jackson's grandparents plan on watching the birds and fishermen. We didn't even plan for him to be in the water, so he just went in his clothes. <laughs> Popular places like the Walker Preserve Trail and Mass Park were nearly empty. We absolutely recommend to people to stay indoors during the hottest parts of the day, drink plenty of fluids, uh, find air conditioning. Santee Fire Battalion Chief Harley Wallace says fortunately people are heeding the advice. They've not responded to a heat-related call today, but says people should not forget about their elderly neighbors. And check on if you have elderly family or friends, um, especially if they don't have great air conditioning in their home, if they don't have the ability to get to a cooler place. Whether you're sliding into the cool zone or drenching yourself in water. It kind of tickles me and um, that's my best part. And getting water in my shoes. <laughs> Santee and communities nearby have cool spots where the heat is not a worry. Again! In Santee, Abby Black, CBS 8. Thanks, Abby. And while we do not recommend going out to the mountains this weekend, there are some ways to stay safe if you do. Key safety tips include bringing more water than you think you need. Exercise during the very early morning or late evening hours. Take a lot of frequent breaks. And make sure you wear a hat and put on plenty of sunscreen. Bring more with you since you have to reapply every 90 minutes or so. CBS 8 spoke with the medical director of the San Diego Mountain Rescue Team. She explained the signs to look out for when it comes to heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Fatigue, maybe some nausea, probably not vomiting yet. Often a lot of sweating, um, feeling maybe a mild headache just not feeling their normal kind of physical stamina they typically have, you want to notice that immediately and try to reverse them from getting more hot because that can progress to heat stroke. 
Oftentimes, you'll find trails closed when it's this hot, but CBS 8 has not heard of any reported closures so far, so we wanted to make sure to pass along this important information. Remember, the county has dozens of cool zone locations that offer free air conditioning. They include libraries and community centers, and we have a full list of those free locations on our website, cbs8.com. Just click on the Help button. The West Coast heat wave has contributed to multiple wildfires across California. That includes the French fire, which has triggered evacuation orders in Mariposa County about an hour from Yosemite National Park. As of just about one hour ago, that fire had burned more than 900 acres next to the town of Mariposa. It is just 15 percent contained. Officials have shut down part of Highway 140, which leads to Yosemite Valley. So if you have plans to head to that area for the long holiday weekend, make sure you check the advisories. Meanwhile, firefighters are making progress against the Thompson Fire, which had burned almost 3,800 acres near the city of Oroville. Containment grew overnight from 29% to 46%, which is great news. Authorities have since lifted some mandatory evacuation orders for people affected by that blaze. There is encouraging news here at home. Crews are gaining ground against the McCain fire, bringing it to 87% containment. Since Monday, it has burned close to 1,600 acres in Far East County. For the very latest weather conditions and alerts on the go, just download our free CBS 8 app from Google Play or the Apple App Store.